What's up, YouTube? All right, I totally deleted today's vlog, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm totally gonna make it work. <laughs> he ain't playing no games. All right, me and Bella's gonna host the episode today. All right, we're gonna tell a story. Isn't that right, Bella? All right, this is Bella. If y'all haven't met Bella, she is my dog, my Labrador Retriever. How old are you, Bella? Bella, how old are you, like four? I think she's like four. Well, Bella is not paying attention to this uh, vlogging stuff. Yeah, she's more interested in the, in the little ants and the grasshoppers and stuff. So Bella says that we should tell the story of how we started these kayak stuff, all right? And how she gets harassed with a water hose every time I decide to clean them off, right? You get harassed? Yeah, she, she's talking about that. She's, she's kind of sleepy too. She hasn't got her morning nap in and it's getting hot. And she's got one of these fur coats on it, all right, Bella? You got a fur coat? So the other day, um, I ran into my new neighbors and uh, it's Ty and Teresa, this other one. And uh, anyways, she asked me a question that I thought was a really awesome question. And she asked me, how did I get into kayak fishing and YouTube? So in the next like however many minutes this takes, I'm gonna walk you through how Yak Motley came to be. So I basically started fishing about you know, when I was a young age, and I got really into shark fishing from the shore before I went in the army. And I was really into it. I liked catching those black tips from the shore. <laughs> it was easy, and you know, it was, it was a lazy afternoon, and you could catch a humongous fish. But after coming back from Iraq, I had been seeing all these videos and stuff on YouTube and pictures of kayak fishing. So, um, I started watching it on YouTube, and I was seeing like Ty Sutherland and Robert Field and all these guys like out there doing this awesome stuff and these little pieces of plastic catching these huge fish and I was like I want to do that I want to do that so like one Saturday morning I just got up it might have been a Sunday I'll say it's a Sunday I got up and I went to Academy and I walked around and I saw this little red kayak for like on sale for like 250 bucks and I had no idea what I was getting. And I thought you just got like a sit-in kayak. I thought it was just what you did. So I bought it and I took it home. First kayak was basically, I think it was like a Pelican 100. It was like red and white, two piece, um, a cheap kayak, totally got me started. It was like paddling a barge for long distance, but I learned how to do it. And I learned about kayak fishing and it got me on the water and it's all that mattered. And from there, basically the rest was history. I just was off and running. I brought the kayak home and my roommate looked at it and was like, I'm going to buy one tomorrow. My uh, household when I was in the army was kind of a group of misfits. We were all a bunch of lieutenants and captains and we all lived in the same house. And it was definitely a bachelor pad. And the next day, Carl got one, then Justin got one, and then Justin had to have a new truck to carry it. So a $200 piece of plastic turned into a $40,000 truck. But anyways, Bella thought this part was too boring. So she's over there rolling around the grass. But anyways, on to my story. So basically, I never thought that I'd be sitting right here with a YouTube channel and doing a lot of random stuff on camera. And it has totally taken me to a totally different world than if I would have never bought the kayak. They say there's times in life that you just got to take a chance and do something. Max out a credit card, buy that camera, or... Uh, you know, take your, your month's savings and buy a kayak because that is a pivotal point in the road in your life to where you never know where it might take you. Moving right along, after we bought the kayaks and we fished for a while, we fished around the Army uh, ponds on Fort Hood and then around the little random places in Texas like Still House Lake and stuff. And then one day I decided, why don't we enter a fishing tournament? So by this time I had bought my Hobie. It was about 2000, early 2014. And um, me and Carl tried our luck in the Cats Kayak Anglers Tournament Trail. It was totally fun and it was a totally random experience. And we learned an awful lot from these guys. So I think we fished in this tournament trail like maybe two years. We didn't fish the whole tournament trail. We kind of picked and chose which lake we wanted to fish on. 
and see if we could place, which we never could. But um, we learned some, from some of the great anglers in Texas, and a lot of the stuff that they did in Texas really applied to red fishing out here in Pensacola Bay. So after getting out of the Army in 2014, uh, late 2014, and I moved here, I had a bucket list. I was going to try to catch the biggest fish on the Gulf Coast from a piece of plastic and put it on GoPro. And that's when I decided to buy my first GoPro. You know, I'm a real cheapskate, and I was just like, man, they're so expensive, and yada, yada, yada. And even though money wasn't the problem, it was the sheer matter of buying it. I was like, well, I really like this. Well, I really do this. You know, I've been watching all these guys on YouTube, and I was like, I can do this. But I never took the leap of faith until one day I saw GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black on clearance. And I took that chance, and here's where, that's why I'm here today. So Bella thought this was an interesting part of the story, so she came back. Totally forgot where I was at in this story. But I think I'm somewhere around the end of the moving back to Pensacola. So after moving back to Pensacola, I uh, entered the... Uh, Brandon Barton was putting on the Hallow Balloween, Hallow Balloween Bash. It was a fishing tournament in full Halloween costumes. And I was like, hey, that sounds interesting. And I wanted to catch a bull red because I hadn't caught one before. And I was like, I can do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. So we showed up and everybody was in costume and I wore a humongous wig. I don't think I got a picture of it though because I, just, I don't think I got a picture of it. But it was terribly dangerous and the hair was in my eyes the entire night. And I didn't catch anything. But of course, Brandon Barton won his own tournament. And now it's just because he's a really good fisherman. That really set me on course to get after these really big fish here on the Gulf Coast. I knew how to catch them, but I had never done it out of a kayak. And I was just, just had my new camera, and I was going to show them. So, once I got going, I had to find, I feel like, figure out the ropes here in Pensacola again. Totally different than when I had left. And I spent most of the summer like figuring everything out, which it takes time to figure them fish out. I got in there and I got my first kings of the year and then I went out in search of the silver king, the tarpon. And for those of y'all who have never caught a tarpon, they're the ultimate fish right up there with a sailfish and a marlin. When you hook onto these things, it's like holding on a stick of dynamite. And it was the craziest, coolest thing I'd ever caught. And it was a ton of fun. Even though it took me like six weeks to get this fish, me and Keith Morrison and Danny Vargas, we were in it to win it. And boy, did we win it. Keith got that big one off the VAR. I got a nice one off Perdido Key. And it took like six weeks, but we did it. So I'm super excited to say that, hey, I've got, a, I've got yakmotley.com launching here in about eight hours. And at the time of this video, who would have ever thought that I would have gone from a dude buying his first kayak four years ago to like having a YouTube channel and a website uh, just to vlog my adventures in life. And I think that's the point I'm trying to get to on this vlog, is don't be afraid to take that step or take that wild road and buy a kayak or a GoPro. Who knows what you might be in front of that camera or just in general. Buy that sport bike or buy that race car because you never know what you might end up being like. It's a total motivational, motivational and inspirational thought. Don't limit yourself. You're only limited by what your own thoughts are. Just go out there and do it. But I'm going to continue vlogging on this channel because I'm really enjoying it and I think it's a lot of fun and it's a good way to remember all the things that you've done over the last course of years because I still go back and watch my videos and be like, oh, remember when we did this? But really that's all I got for today and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, follow me on Yak Molly on Instagram and Facebook. Check out my website. I'm going to post it on Facebook as soon as I get it up and running. All right, guys, don't be afraid to take that first step and figure out what you want to do in life and do that. Don't have, let anybody think, uh, let you think that you can't do it. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow or again this afternoon if I decide to make another video because I think we're going to do like a around the neighborhood picnic slash bike ride slash party. Later. Uh -huh.